Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? So welcome. Today is April the 13th. It's a Saturday and I'm, I know that a lot of people right now, they are very flustered. They're very frustrated. They're very upset. They're very worried. They're very panicked about the market. And I'm here to tell you guys that it's going to be okay. And I'm just going to generally talk about some things that have happened in the past before. We'll try to keep it in 10 minutes and also try to talk about what could happen in the future. So first of all, be calm and be patient because right now these types of events where we're seeing major drops it's a very normal and cyclical part of the market we're getting very close to the bitcoin having event and i truly believe that the people that are selling right now they're the ones that are panicked i've talked in the last episode about this event called miners capitulation and what miners capitulation refers to is when there is a bitcoin having event and the miners are receiving half of the reward that they got before sometimes if the price is too low many of the low miners the small time miners the small operations they can't keep up running their operations so because of this they're forced to sell some or even all or even get out of the mining game and because of this it can cause miners to actually be in a huge loss because they're selling their portion of their bitcoins that they've mined up until this point and this happens because of the price of bitcoin is too low they cannot sustain their operations and it causes the hash rate of bitcoin to be extremely low and then when this happens there's a period between the miners capitulation and when the hash rate starts to pick back up and when the hash rate starts to pick back up if you look at an indicator called hash ribbons it tells you that it's recovered and now the miners they're being rewarded according to their hash rate it's more profitable to keep mining rather than to sell but there are periods where it's more profitable to get out of the game and wait until the price of bitcoin is higher and this always happens around the bitcoin having event okay but the good thing is Bitcoin is at such a high price point right now, and we have rallied tremendously. Many people are worried that we're not in the same type of cycle as we were back then, because back then we never broke above that all time high until months after that having event. But this is actually a great sign, in my opinion, because Bitcoin has never been this bullish before. And because it's at such a high price point, the miners capitulation isn't likely to happen. But if a dip does happen, it's going to be something similar to this. I cannot see Bitcoin dropping below around the $58,000 region. And let me show you what happens at 58K. So we can see, first of all, that there was a huge buy signal that there was a miners capitulation back then when the price of Bitcoin was not high enough. And then there was another buy signal. And since then, we've always had a positive experience for miners because miners they make up a large portion of the ecosystem and if we take a look at the four day chandelier exit indicator it shows us that the volatility support is over fifty seven thousand four hundred dollars if there is a drop that's all right it's going to be a great opportunity for us to pick up a huge amount of crypto and like i mentioned in my last video as well that this here is looking like a third wave is still forming and there's a four and there's a five and we don't know if there's anything going to be extended or not in terms of fifth waves but what we do see is that this is about a one two three four and there's a five that will finish up the third wave soon so based off of elliott wave we're still likely to have many many more waves until we reach an all-time high and because this is the fourth wave correction we're also likely to hit at most fifty seven thousand dollars and I've been in now two major bull markets and two major bear markets. I also put in a tremendous amount of time researching the fundamental and macroeconomic factors that are influencing the crypto world right now. And I'm telling you guys that there's so much bullish news in terms of um, the political year, right? So there's a vote for a new president in 2024 later this year. Many politicians are going to try to adopt uh, bitcoin policies in america because right now they're being pushed away i'm sure you guys all know about financing exiting america and that's a huge blow to uh, binance and especially america as well but because many other countries are adopting crypto the last thing america wants to be is behind especially when you have some major countries like el salvador that are adopting or that have adopted bitcoin as a central payment system as well 
the America doesn't want to be behind. You have to eventually regulate it. And the regulation is going to play a central role in the adoption of Bitcoin, which will make it more mainstream eventually. There will be less fraudulent activities. There's going to be more stability in the market and less volatility as well, and especially more accessible to everybody. So coming later this year, when you also combine it with uh, interest rates slightly easing as well, money printer being turned back on, very soon people will have an excess amount of money people will be able to borrow again companies will be able to get loans this increase and surplus in money that we will have access to as the quantitative easing does occur it's going to allow us to inject more money into the crypto markets combined with eft's or uh, sorry etfs as well being approved across the board and of course ethereum's etf approval coming up very soon as well or maybe it'll be denied there's a very good chance that if a dip does happen it's either happened already or it's going to happen just a little bit more there will not be a miners capitulation and this is presenting a major buy opportunity for you so you have to keep a main uh, a long-term bias that's bullish in crypto especially near the having event during the having event it's not a time that we've ever seen major, major dips and you just exit crypto completely and then it dies. The halving is a very positive event that is going to anchor a long term bull market for the next three to four to 500 days. But in the last two cycles in 2016 and in 2020, after the halving, there's always been a period of a bull market between 525 days and 545 days. So you have to ask yourself, why is there any reason to be bearish? Now, as a long-term investor, the last thing you need to do is panic over movements like this. You need to drill it into your heads and really understand firmly that these market corrections and these cycles, they're normal. You gotta be able to withstand the volatility. You're not here for the stupid short-term gains that are like 20, 30%. My portfolio has dropped 30% which is a value of $2 million. And I'm not even worried because I know that if I had cashed out back then when it was at that high, what if it kept continuing to the upside? I would have been fucked. So you have to have a strategy that's going to appeal to long-term profits. And it has not hit my timeline to sell, which is about 500 days after the halving event. It hasn't hit any of my price predictions yet, which is Ethereum at at least $10,000 and Bitcoin at at least $150,000. So there's no way you should be exiting the market. Maybe you could allow yourself a small position where you can use to day trade or to manage your portfolio short term. But for the long term, you guys got to stay in the game. You got to be patient, man. You can't just go on Twitter every day and panic and read all this bullshit news, right? And another thing that I got to recommend, guys, is be careful of meme coins. Right now, the meme coin market cap is actually higher than the market cap of both AI and gaming coins combined. So that's about $39 billion market cap, where it was back then. It's probably more like 33 now because of the drop. But you got to understand that people are throwing spaghetti at the wall, basically putting money into any random meme coin and hoping that they get like a 100x or 200x gain. It's the season of meme coins right now. But there's going to come a time that people are going to lose a lot more money taking this gamble. And I'm sure that people are starting to slowly realize that. And then when this actually happens, people will exit the meme coin market. And that money is going to flow into other hot sectors or categories like AI, like gaming coins, or even into Bitcoin as well. And if this money is taken out of meme coins and put into other sectors, it's just going to grow like crazy. So know that right now it's the degenerate phase of meme coins but that's going to end very soon so i just i'm warning you guys right now that if you're one of those people that's putting money into random meme coins you're going to get very burned way more than not so right now is a time to be buying okay guys it's a time to be buying at dollar cost averaging make sure you guys have a plan not only that in the next few days i'm finally going to release my 2024 investors guide to cryptocurrency a lot of people have been asking about that how am I managing my portfolio? What do I do? What are some of the long-term plans? So I decided to make a course for you guys. It's only $125. The only reason I'm charging is because I have to respect myself and my time, first of all. Secondly, anything of zero value, it's not valuable, right? Anything free, it's not valuable, really. 
It's got to have some cost assigned to it. Not only that, you guys are going to really appreciate it. For $125, you're going to get literally the best crypto investment guide that you will ever come across. And especially in chapter four, where I break down my portfolio, I show you guys how to how to also manage it professionally. And you guys are going to learn everything about every single sector and category in crypto and exactly what I know. This guide will be the difference between you doing just okay and doing extremely well. So right now, guys, be patient. The bull market will come. You just got to be patient and wait a few months after the Bitcoin having do something to kill time, do something to generate more capital so you can invest. But the last thing that you should be doing is stressing over your portfolio and looking at the red numbers every single day. It's okay, guys. We're all going to get there together and I'll see you at the all-time high.